and we can get started. As I explained to everyone, Mr. Controller, we've got Ethan from the Gotham Gazette on, uh, and a number of reporters have requested the audio recording and video of this, so we can just jump right into it. I'll let Susan take it from here. Great. Thank you so much, Alexis. Hi. I'm Susan Lerner. I'm the Executive Director of Common Cause New York, and I'm very pleased to be joined by New York City Comptroller Scott Stringer and Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer, who you will be hearing from in just a moment. New York City just pulled off our first election in a pandemic with less than two months notice. And what we learned from the problems that voters faced is that it takes time to make changes in how we run our elections which makes it very clear that we need to get ready for our first ranked choice voting election now. The BOE missed a charter mandated June 1st deadline to submit a readiness report to the city council and the mayor um, detailing its progress preparing for next year's introduction of ranked choice voting. The deadline is crucial in order to make sure that the board can purchase the necessary upgrades to the existing voting machines for ranked choice voting. While New York City has the bulk of what it needs, hand-marked paper ballots and optical ballot scanners, software and firmware upgrades are needed to be certified by the New York State Board of Elections before the 2021 election cycle. The certification process can take up to six months, which means that the city could be facing as many as two special elections via ranked choice voting as early as March, 2021, depending on the final outcomes of the Queens Borough President and New York 15 races uh, without the necessary equipment. The BOE needs to submit its report right away and start the clock on the state certification process. Common Cause along with the League of Women Voters, Citizens Union and reInvent Albany is sending a letter outlining our concerns to the board. We're facing a moment of great change, but ranked choice voting can help bring us through to a more democratic society by empowering and elevating a diversity of voices in our elections. And now we'd like to hear from Comptroller Stringer. Well, thank, thank you very much, Susan. And thank you so much for Common Cause fighting hard to make sure that our local democracy will be in good shape come the 21, 2021 election cycle. Look, here's for me, the bottom line, the voters have spoken. They want ranked choice voting. They demand ranked choice voting because it is a system that is going to create more fair elections and better representation. Everybody knows that and everyone's excited about it. But here's the glitch. Once again, the barrier to democracy is our own board of elections because they dropped the ball again. And all they had to do with their 700 employees and is to find two to write a report, put it in the mail, and send it to the State Board of Elections so we can get this started. It is absolutely unexplainable and outrageous that we do not have this on speed dial. In 2021, we're gonna have elections for mostly every office in the city, from mayor, controller, to public advocate, five borough presidents, a whole new city council, so there is no time to waste. We've got to make sure that our candidates know the rules and that our voters are educated. It wasn't too long ago I stood with elected officials in Common Cause to talk about how the need to educate voters, to get them excited about ranked choice voting so that they understood uh, what the rules of the road are going to be, what their democracy is all about. And now we get to this moment where the Board of Elections didn't send a report that is unacceptable. And we're gonna be working uh, with Borough President Brewer and all of our stakeholders to make sure that we hold the board accountable to our democracy, to ranked choice voting, and someone should just get that report done now so we don't have problems later on. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Comptroller and Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer. Thank you very much to you, Susan Lerner, and to Common Cause New York, because you are constantly strengthening democracy in New York City, and you've been doing it long and hard, and to Controller Stringer for always supporting good government. I know that we're in the middle of a cascade of crises. In fact, it just seems very, very endless. It's the health pandemic, it's the social justice challenges, it's the economic depression, and a budget crunch. But equally important is voting, and voting the way that the voters want to vote. 
And I want to say to my friends at the Board of Elections to miss, as the controller and Susan Lerner stated, a charter mandated deadline to submit a readiness report on implementing rank choice voting. I have to say to me, it's frightening because what it says is we're not ready and it does have a real stamp of disapproval in my opinion. Under ranked choice voting known as RCV next year, we as New Yorkers will be able to rank candidates in order of preference. This would encourage candidates to campaign across the entire electorate and build consensus among different communities, which is exactly why people voted for this uh, legislation and this fact that how we're gonna vote. It would eliminate the need for expensive runoff elections, which have impossibly low turnout and cost millions of dollars, which we certainly cannot afford at this time. More importantly, voters would have this confidence that whoever wins the election has done vote with majority support. Other large cities like Minneapolis and Santa Fe have successfully introduced ranked choice voting. And San Francisco used it to elect a new mayor. And I have to say, I think the controller would agree. She is a rock star in terms of how she's handled this horrible virus. Ranked choice voting will make New York City's democracy stronger if it's implemented and the word is properly. But that's the Board of Elections job and they have to do it now. That's why we're having this press conference. The state certification process typically takes six months, but the city may be facing as many as two special elections via ranked choice voting as early as March 2021, depending on the final outcomes of the Queensboro president, and obviously, as you heard earlier, New York 15 races. Thank you very much. This is a, as important an issue, in my opinion, as the many, many other ones that we're facing today. Thank you very much, Susan Lerner and Controller Stringer. Thank you, uh, Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer. Um, if, uh, go ahead. I wanted to jump in here and invite Ethan to unmute himself if you would like to ask questions at this time. And if not, that's okay too. Give Ethan a moment. Or to give us your question on the chat. Also, he's on a phone call, so not, not oh, that's Zoom. Right. That's okay, though. Um, it looks like Ethan is not unmuting himself. That's quite all right. Um, I think that concludes this press conference Zoom. Thanks, everyone. Oh, thanks, Gail and Scott. Thank you. Susan, Gail, I, to be continued. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>